Greetings. Welcome to Front Range Canine Academy. Today we are going to make our long leashes for level two training. You will need a, about a 20 foot leash, a 30 foot leash, and a 50 foot leash. So we're going to talk about uh, equipment first. The first thing you need to do is get some hollow braid polypropylene leash. Let me zoom in here. You can see what that looks like. You can get it at most of the large box stores, you do need to be sure that it's hollow braid, and you need a hundred feet of this. You can measure out a 50 foot, 30 foot, and 20 foot leash, and use your scissors to cut them. Each of these hollow braid packages includes a splicing tool, uh, and it's just a little black pointed tool that's hollow, and we're going to get to what we're going to use that for. So you'll need scissors, you'll need the slight splicing tool that comes with the rope, and you'll also need a lighter or a candle or some other source of flame, because once you cut this rope, it will fray at the ends, so you need to uh, touch it to a flame briefly so that it is uh, sealed. And then last but not least, you need at least three uh, snap hooks, just like you would see on a leash, and these can generally be found in the same aisle that you find your rope at a Home Depot or a Lowe's or that type of hardware type store. Okay, so I have already cut uh, the length of rope that I need, and the very first thing that I'm going to do is burn that rope. This is going to be a 20 foot leash. So I will use my lighter just to very briefly touch the end of the rope where it's frayed squeeze it with your fingers after it sets for a second. Check it, make sure that you got all of the little ends. Burn it again if you need to. And again, what we're looking at here is making sure that the ends of this rope are completely sealed. Then, I'm going to put the end of the rope into the splicing tool. Make sure nothing is sticking out. And the first thing I'm going to do is make the handle for my leash. So I want to be sure that I have a loop handle at the end of all of my long lines. So I'm going to fold back about a foot uh, so that I've just doubled over the rope and I have this end is in the splicing tool. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is stick the splicing tool through the center of the rope. And again, this is hollow braid. So you can just sort of work the tool right through the middle of the rope and pull it through until you have whatever size loop you want to be able to hold on to. Okay? Once I have that, now it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to take the splicing tool again and this time move in here so you can see this. What we're going to do is take the rope and insert it into the center of the, the, uh, the splicing tool is going to go into the center of the rope. So I am literally pushing the black tool down into the center of the rope. And you can see the tool is in the middle of the rope. I'm going to continue to simply thread that through the center of the rope. Now remember, the very end of my rope is in the splicing tool. So I'm just going to keep inching the tool along. If it sticks out, don't worry about it. Stick it back in. So you're right in the center of the rope. Just keep inching it along. Eventually, you're just going to pull that splicing tool out. And it's just to get it started and threaded. Now I still have a little bit of loop out here. So I can feel this rope, it's fat, I can find the end of the rope and just keep pressing it forward and smoothing the center of the rope along. And we will do this again for the clip end so you'll get to see it again. I'm just going to continue to inch the end of that rope into the center of itself. And the fantastic thing about hollow braid polypropylene rope is that it's slick but it does have some fiber uh, some texture to the fibers and now that I've got that inched all the way through there 
we can take a look and see that I have a loop on one end and that it's completely smooth. The end of this rope is all the way threaded through the center of the rope itself. Now on my leashes, on the end that has the loop so it doesn't just keep pulling itself through, I do just knot it and we have the end of the rope. We're going to do the exact same thing for our clips so that we can create a nice clip end and a handle end. So I've again already cut this one so it's 20 feet long. I'm going to thread the end. I need to burn it so it doesn't fray. You just want to melt that plastic a little bit. It smells fantastic. Just going to squeeze it once it cools down so it grabs itself. And then again, I'm going to thread this through the loop of my leash clip and go back about one foot. Okay. Be sure that you put the end of the rope into the splicing tool. And then you're going to take your splicing tool. So remember I have my rope doubled over. I'm going to take my splicing tool and go right back up to where this clip is and through the center of the rope. I always have to thread through the center first so it grabs onto that clip. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the other end. And that is thread the splicing tool into the center of the rope. Oops. Just keep threading it through so that it is pulling the end of the rope into itself in through the center of the hollow braid. And we're just going to keep inching it along. Usually the rope eventually comes out of the splicing tool and you can just remove the splicing tool and inch the rope itself. Just keep smoothing the rope along. Okay, I've got it all in. So I'm going to take my splicing tool out it off of the rope, let it pull itself back through, smooth it down, and voila, I have a nice 20 foot long leash that will not slip. The clip is a foot in, so again, this is where my clip started, this is where the end of the rope is wound into itself, and then I have 20 feet of leash until I get to the loop that I made the hand loop the exact same way. You're going to repeat this process. Again, you need 100 feet of rope and you need a 20 foot leash or thereabouts, 18 to 20 feet. You need a 30 foot leash and you need a 50 foot leash for level 2 and level 3 training. Thanks. We'll see you in class.